Hello and welcome to Patrick's Models on Transport. I've marked uh, where the gear is here in correspondence with the roof. And uh, now I'm going to make a hole in the balsa to be able to clear the gear. So how did I mark that? I dotted, I dotted the gear with a piece of some drawing, charcoal, and then I just put this on top and it marks the position. So considering that could be, I want to anyway clear the gear well, I'm making quite a wide hole, and uh, then I'm going to do another thing here on the on the roof. <clears throat> I've more or less calculated that the thickness. All we need to do is to make a hole through the roof, and then we'll have uh, the thickness of the roof will actually clear the gear. Okay, it will clear it through the hole. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make, apply a strip of 0.30 millimeter styrene here in the center of the roof to act as a sort of uh, central strip of this roof. Huh? And uh, in the surrounding parts, using a ruler, I'll mark a series of grooves from dome to dome. I'll just do a series of grooves and that will cover some of the wood grain. And we'll actually have uh, a nice flush part here and we'll like and I'll fit the ventilators. For the ventilators I'll use a very simple solution. I'll punch some holes using the belt punch. It should be around down here. Yes, not a doubt. Wonder where I put the thing. And <clears throat> that's that's us. So let's get this here cut out and filed right now. So I'm using a different cutter. I've had this one here for many, many years, since I was 12 years old. A different blade to sort of make a nice incision in the balsa. Should have got through nearly. through here. I want to make sure that it comes nice and a nice clean cut. That's already coming out. I'm just going straight through because this way by fitting a strip on the roof I actually solve the problem of camouflaging some of the wood grain and distracting because I smoothed it up and also fitting fitting the ventilators. Cut that out. Should be there. I don't want to crack the wood. So sometimes balsa might just crack along along a, the wood grain. Let's finish using that. Let's use a normal cutter get through there. Get it across. Okay, that's out. Okay, we've sliced through that. There we go. I'm just going to cut through here as well to make a nice clean opening. Okay. Uh, I 
back is feeling definitely the lumbar bow is starting to improve. I'm still wearing this horrible corset thing here. Not the most comfortable, but movement, movement has improved. Okay, I think we're there. We just need to file this up. part's going to be covered huh? and I calculated it to be really nice and central centered and anyway so we're at 3.5 where the whole central perfect no problem at all no problem at all let's just file it down a bit better Let's see if it fits and if I have to trim some more off it. I think you can see. Ah, yes, the rail car is bang in front of you. I see, that's very good. But I think I'm going to have to trim a wee bit off this because there's a risk of this touching. So definitely we're going to slice some more off. Better be generous. Anyway, we're going to cover it up. Not too much, but <clears throat> not too much, but not too little. Better trim off. Only to have a good clearance for the gear. We don't want the gear being being soiled by the balsa roof. So I can actually make the op the opening more oval. Is. I mean, this doesn't really matter, this won't be visible because we're going to cover it up. And that will be absolutely perfect. Strip, and I'll be painted all aluminium. And more or less, I'll go from here, the beginning of the dome, along the flat parts. And that will cover that completely. And I'll fit the ventilators and corresponding to each window bay. Let's see how that is. I think we're good. Okay. So there we go. Trying to see the roof in place. The gear is invisible. So it's nice and flush. So if I'd wanted, I could have sort of, you know, excavated some out and left it flush but there's no point because at this point here we can have a nice a nice central strip along here fit all the nice ventilators on it and uh, that will cover the gear we don't have any pods sticking out and uh, i could actually and then i'll fit the exhaust pipes to the side and here i'll 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 make grooves using a hard pencil or, or, or a cutter blade, or even a cutter blade just to make some grooves. I'd thought even maybe to glue something, but then it would all come out of scale. So I'm just going to make the grooves on the roof using a ruler on the part which is not covered by the plastic. So what we'll do, and we'll do this together, we'll mark out where, how wide to make this, this styrene strip, no? 
how 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 wide to make it. So center it, of course, it has to be centered because it can't be offside. And uh, at that point, we'll be able to assemble and it make making we'll continue work on the on the roof. But that will then I'll paint the roof before fitting it because then the roof uh, I'll fit the roof once I've painted the actual bodywork. You know? Okay, so that's tonight's update on the rail car on the on the freelance rail car, let's say. And uh, I'll also be fitting the third right here and here. And I think I'll have to see how to do that. I think I'll just use some pieces of sprue and trim them down using the file to get something nice and flush here along the bend, along the, the, the front dome here and here. So we'll have to study something. We'll think of something. So and these are details. These are things, actually not really details because that, that has to be fitted before painting because I want to do all the painting with everything in situ. So glue everything on and then paint it and that way we'll have nice uniform uh, silver paint on the roof. Okay, that's that for the moment. If you like the video, you can give it a like, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell. And I think that's it. That's that's the last, my last activity for today because I'm really very very tired. There's lots of storms here in north northeastern Italy last night, and my legs were feeling the storms very stormy weather very very badly, and jumping and so I didn't have a good night. I slept three and a half hours last night and then I had a full day with uh, physio. Uh, to go out and do the laser treatment for the lumbago, I had to, <coughs> I had to go to, then I had three, three, three hours of lessons this afternoon, English lessons, two on Skype, one and one with a person here in presence, and <coughs> that's, uh, that's, that's enough for tonight. Uh, so, uh, by the way, here's just one, on a, on a, on a, <laughs> I'll have a, I'll show you in one of my boxes of, uh, of odds and ends. So, this is where I keep my spear cutter, the one I've had since I was 13, 12, 13. And uh, these are the spear cutter blades, of course. These are the old. Now, I think these are the new cutter blades. And these are some old blunt cutter blades because when cutter blades are old, I use them for cutting wood. And these are, yes, these are the nice new ones. Then in here there's a series of wood trimmings in this matchbox. Huh? <laughs> this is really old. This is uh, Franz Ilishitz. He was uh, a candidate to the local elections in Austria. And uh, this is a matchbox. It used to have matches inside. It doesn't now. It has little trimmings. Wood, wood trimmings. Which date back to a job I did for my last uh, middle school we have scuola media here in italy that's uh, between 11 and 14. Um, end of uh, final examination technical uh, job i had to do model and that's a completely different story and uh, my uncle in austria he was uh, in the same party as uh, mr franz ilishitz and uh, actually, he, this was an election for a fraction of the socialist uh, um, trade unions. So my uncle in, in Austria is a trade unionist. And so we always got these matches and things. And I remember this guy, Franz Hilischitz. He's He was a, a, a Steiermark, a Styrian, a Styrian uh, I think he was even the president of the Styrian Legion in Austria. So if you remember... If you're Austrian and you remember Franz, Franz Ilishitz, give me a ring a bell. <laughs> so he lives in here. He looked, I remember going up to Austria and seeing his, his picture up on the on the billboards. We're about to have uh, polit uh, European elections here in Italy. It's going to be fun. Okay, but anyway, I'm not here to talk about contemporary politics, but I think that we showing 
an election of 1984 in Austria is definitely something from a completely different era. Okay, and with a view, these are old Italian phone cards. These are also useful for pieces of plastic if you're wanting to make something. I hung on to a lot of these, and uh, these can also be useful. Right, cheerio, and see you next time. Ciao, ciao.